R Programming Simulation Part 1 Hi everyone, let us proceed with chapter 9 with the topic of simulation. Simulation is a procedure of generic data with specific distribution and testing whether the data fit the purpose statistical method or not. In parametric tests, there are assumptions that need to be fulfilled specifically on the distribution. So therefore, we can generate data that mimic the behavior of actual data and verify whether the analysis that we conducted satisfy the condition made prior to distribution. So these are some of the R command for generating data for specific distribution. For normal distribution, we use the R norm where N is the length of the observation and then mean and the standard deviation is the value that we specified in a vector form. For example here, generate 10 observation for normal distribution with mean equal to 15 and standard deviation equal to 2. Okay, so you can type R norm. 10 is the number of observation, mean is equal to 15 and then the standard deviation equal to 2. Okay. So you will get 10 random observation that come from the normal distribution with mean equal to 15 and then standard deviation equal to 2. Okay, so since uh, this is a random number, so therefore your observation might not be the same as mine. So therefore we need to set up first so that when you want to generate the same random number it will appear as the same as what we want so we can use the set.seed function so which I will explain later for uniform distribution okay so we use this function our uniform okay and the number of observation so in the uniform distribution we need to specify the minimum value and the maximum value so you can run this one right click copy and then paste so let's say we want to run 10 observation okay we mean from the norm from the uniform distribution minimum equal to 0 maximum equal to 1 so this is the observation and then for poison distribution poison distribution is a discrete random variable so we need the information pertaining to the lambda so the coding is r poise so uh, specify the number of observation and then the lambda for example here let's say we want to generate 10 random observations from poison distribution with lambda equal to 5 okay so just type r poise 10 is the number of observation and then the value of lambda And then for binomial distribution, binomial distribution is also a discrete random variable that obtained from multiple trial prior probability. So we use the R binom, N is the number of observation, size is the number of trials, it can be zero or more, and then the probability of success on each trial. So let's say Let's say we want to generate 10 random observations from binomial distribution with 3 trials and probability of success is equal to 0 0.5. So you can type here our binom 10 is the number of observation and then the number of trials is equal to 3 and then the probability of success is 0 0.5. Copy. 
place here so this is the output of the random variable that generate from the binomial distribution okay as i said the number that we generate might not be the same as mine because the number of observation are generated at random so therefore you can use or you can set the random number by using the set dot c okay the random number generation are right hence we need to set the generated observation to be the same when the run number when they run the random observation by using the set.c function we can assign any po positive integer value okay, as a reference for example here let's say if I want to generate 10 random observations from the normal distribution mean equal to 0 and standard deviation equal to 1 and then I will use the set.c 1 to 3 okay so I will use set 1 to 3 and then generate the random number uh, of 10 observation and then mean equal to 0 standard deviation equal to 1 ok so just use set dot c123 and then our norm 10 mean equal to 0 standard deviation equal to 1 ok so if I run this one, okay, so you will get the same answer as mine, okay. If you don't run with the sort set dot c one two three, okay, you will get a different answer, okay. But if you come up with the set dot c one two three here, run, okay, I will get the same answer as the previous one, okay, where I put the set dot c one two actually you can put any number here ok not necessarily to put 1, 2, 3 set 1, set 12 as long as it is an, an integer ok thank you thank you for watching